To correct a painful corn on the outside of the fifth toe, an oblique incision is made and a wedge of skin removed to allow proper derotation of the toe upon closure. The enlarged portion of bone is removed. The skin is closed and the toe straightened. Correction of the bunion deformity involves removal of the enlarged portion of bone on the outside of the first metatarsal head. Soft tissue release allows for proper repositioning of the sesamoid bones. A cut is made in the first metatarsal head to allow for proper realignment of the metatarsal bone. The overhanging ledge of bone is removed and fixation accomplished using the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. Correction of the metatarsus adductus deformity involves removing wedges of bone from the bases of the metatarsals. The bones are then repositioned and held in place with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. The Aiken procedure is used to correct a bunion which has an angulation deformity of the great toe bone. The enlarged portion of bone on the outside of the metatarsal head is first removed. A wedge of bone is then removed from the great toe. This allows for proper straightening of the toe. The bone is then fixated with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. The Aiken procedure is used to correct a bunion which has an angulation deformity of the great toe bone. The enlarged portion of bone on the outside of the metatarsal head is first removed. A wedge of bone is then removed from the great toe. This allows for proper straightening of the toe. The bone is then fixated with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. The Austin Aiken bunionectomy involves correction of not only the enlargement of the first metatarsal head, but also the angulational deformity of the great toe. The enlarged portion of bone is first removed from the metatarsal head. A cut is then made in the first metatarsal head to allow for proper repositioning of the bone. A wedge of bone is then removed from the great toe. This allows it to be straightened as well. Fixation is accomplished using the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. Correction of the bunion deformity involves removal of the enlarged portion of bone on the outside of the first metatarsal head. Soft tissue release allows for proper repositioning of the sesamoid bones. A cut is made in the first metatarsal head to allow for proper realignment of the metatarsal bone. The overhanging ledge of bone is removed and fixation accomplished using the surgeon's choice of fixation devices.
Correction of the bunion deformity involves removal of the enlarged portion of bone on the outside of the first metatarsal head. Soft tissue release allows for proper repositioning of the sesamoid bones. A cut is made in the first metatarsal head to allow for proper realignment of the metatarsal bone. The overhanging ledge of bone is removed and fixation accomplished using the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. A normal first metatarsal phalangeal joint has smooth, intact cartilage. If the cartilage wears away or develops defects, arthritis may form within this joint. This causes painful and restricted joint motion. To prepare for the total joint implant, the arthritic bone and cartilage is removed. Channels are then placed in the bone to allow for proper positioning of the implant components. The components are inserted and properly seated in the bone. This permits restoration of motion at the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. The closing base wedge osteotomy is used to correct a moderate to severe bunion deformity. The sesamoid bone may be removed or repositioned. The enlargement of bone on the outside of the first metatarsal head is removed. A wedge of bone is removed from the base of the first metatarsal. A wedge of bone is then removed from the great toe to correct its deformity as well. The bones are repositioned and held in place with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. The closing base wedge osteotomy is used to correct a moderate to severe bunion deformity. The sesamoid bone may be removed or repositioned. The enlargement of bone on the outside of the first metatarsal head is removed. A wedge of bone is removed from the base of the metatarsal to allow for proper repositioning of the bones. The bone is repositioned and held in place with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. The closing base wedge osteotomy is used to correct a moderate to severe bunion deformity. The sesamoid bone may be removed or repositioned. The enlargement of bone on the outside of the first metatarsal head is removed. A wedge of bone is removed from the base of the metatarsal to allow for proper repositioning of the bones. The bone is repositioned and held in place with the surgeon's choice of fixation devices. A painful bump at the top of the great toe joint is often caused by an underlying enlargement of bone on the first metatarsal head. By removing this enlarged portion of bone, the bump is eliminated. 